it is my review of Luxo Smartwatch. I bought this last year in December. I think it was about the 22nd. I'll tell you in a minute. December and I'll tell you the story of my Luxo smartwatch saga. It was delivered on the 29th of the 12th, 2023, so the 20, 29th of December, I've got it. And I bought it, because I've got all the stuff here, on the 22nd. So it took about seven days to get here, all total, from China. Anyway. Here's my review of Luxo Smartwatch. This is a rebranded smartwatch. And it's made by a company called Starmax in China. So all the people that run this website have done is rebranded it and called it Luxo. smart and they have got another name as well and i will come to that in a minute well as we go on <coughs> excuse me so this is the site that you buy it off and this is the smart watch looks fantastic doesn't it but it's not all it seems. Be warned. And I can prove that to you as well. I've got to keep putting this going off on what's happened to people. If you look on Trustpilot, then you'll see what I mean. So they make all these bold claims about it. I've got some reviews here. Which, by the way, are all fake. So, the step count can be very erratic. From what I've seen, it counts more steps than it should do. Like, for instance, when I'm making my bed, it can count up to 20. Or th it, over it oversteps count, so it looks like you're doing more than what you actually are. And if you look in the app, and I don't know why this is, when you look in the app, it um, it says it's there's less steps than what's on the watch. I mean, that seems a bit stupid to me, but um, that's by the by. I don't know why that is, but... Um, Here's how it all went for me anyway. Of course, uh, I don't know about the accuracy of uh, the data. Like, it's got, it measures blood sugar, blood pressure, heart rate, and stress. I mean, I, you know, I've got nothing to um, compare. I mean, my blood pressure on it seems like it's round about where it should be from having it measured but I'd have to have it done side by side with another device to um, check it so I can't honestly say you know whether it's good or bad blood sugar well I can't check that either 
you know, whether how, how accurate. I mean, it says it's all right, but there again, I don't know, you see. I mean, I just, I want, sleep can be a bit hit and miss. I mean, sometimes it's recorded sleep when I've been sitting still. Um, the health alerts seem to work like drink water. The, um, the sedentary one, which is one, um, when you're sitting still, can be a bit hit and miss. I mean, when I first contacted them about having that particular problem, they didn't seem to know what was causing it. So, and then eventually they said they'd talk, spoke, I had to keep sending them videos of the watch and how it was set up and the app and everything. And eventually they came back and told me something like, if you've done something like 40 steps or something, then it, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, pop up. But I mean, I've sat here for, I don't know how long, sitting still. I mean, for all I know, I mean, I think sometimes it could be counting steps while I'm sitting here. So it thinks I'm moving, so it won't go off, which is a complete waste of time because, you know, if, if you're not moving, then really, I mean, I've got another watch, um, a, what's it called? It's a, 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 a Xiaomi Mi Band 6, and that's, um, you know, if I'm sitting still for over an hour, I get a, a sedentary alert, you know, to move, but this one, it's a bit erratic. I mean, you can set the actual time interval, um, you know, to change it, but it's it's very erratic it doesn't doesn't do it um i mean as much as it should do the stand standing seems quite accurate from what i can see up to a point um i've not done any measurements with the exercise part of the watch so um i can't say that i mean it does seem to um if you've got your bluetooth on on your phone it <coughs> excuse me it does you get messages and um whatsapp messages and sms messages i mean i'm not trying to answer any phone calls on it anything but the price that they're actually selling it for is um 109 pounds and it's supposedly been reduced from £199. Well, I can't see how that is because I've seen the exact same watch on Alibaba. If you look for GTS 5 smartwatch, you'll see loads of listings come up. And I think it was something like, I don't know, $12. So it costs about um, them. And I should imagine they bought by them for 1000 It was something like um, $12, which is about roughly £9. And how I found out about this smartwatch is through this site here. I put the best smartwatch 2024 into Google round about Christmas time and came upon this site here. Which is best we like, which is a food blog. I mean, why would you advertise a smartwatch on a food blog? I mean... That doesn't make sense. I mean, there's all this blurb here. I mean, it's pointless going through it all. But when I bought it, I mean, it's um, advertising Nebula Tech now. But the thing is, when you come to this site, the first thing you do is see this and this review. Which isn't well written at all. I mean... It's not often sold out due to our demand. That's just a load of rubbish. Five colours, wrong spelling there. I 
If I click here, let's just see what it says. So it's gone to Nebula Text site, and this, as you can see, is exactly the same site. It's exactly the same site. In fact, if we go to the home page, you'll see. Look. Oops. Sorry about that. Go to the home page. Now, if you look on here, right, it says, look so promise. We only produce the best products. Please contact, and there's a comma, uh, poor grammar. Please contact us if you have any problem. And we provide worry-free, no full stop, worry-free 12 months warranty for the prod cuts. Yes, it says prod cuts. Comma, we are willing to have the best quality, comma, outstanding service as your first choice. Poor poor English, whoever's written this is can't um, spell properly and has got no grammatical skills whatsoever. So that should be a red flag to anybody. But I dare say that most people, like me, went to go on the site and think, oh, that looks good, you know. It's... Um, It's been one hundred and ninety nine pounds. It's now one hundred and nine pounds, and I better buy one now because the sale ends in eighteen hours fifteen minutes. Well, it never does. That just counter just keeps going like that. And I think they've got the same thing on here. If I'm right, yeah. Look, twenty hours thirteen. Hurry up, sale ends. So. You know, they're trying to make you panic buy it. And look how many has been sold. 4,736. And there's 93 visitors on their site. Same on here. We've got on here. 4,618, 4, I beg your pardon. And there's 100 visitors browsing their store now. I mean, the amount of money they must be making off these watches. Anyway, let's go back to um, this page here. So, what happened with my watches, I'll show you. I've developed uh, a problem. Which is this. After, I don't know, a few months of having it, I can't remember, probably... By March time, woke up one morning, looked at the watch, and this is what I saw. I don't know if you can see. You should be able to see it. This white blob. There, you see it. Let's zoom in a bit more. This at the bottom of the screen, and I emailed um, Look So Smart, their service department, about this particular problem. <coughs> and they kept trying to say it was water, a water-based problem. And then they tried to say, and I said to them, it's not been near any water. The only thing I do with it is clean it with a, a damp cloth, which I do, which I've done, you know, just to keep the back clean in case it's got any, I don't know, muck on it or dead skin or whatever or sweat come what may <coughs> and they kept saying they kept trying to say it was water and if you look on their website it's the specifications are somewhere let's just have a look At waterproof level, IP67. So it can cope with, you know, splashes and 
things like that on, on water and stuff uh, it's not going to hurt it whether it's uh, it can be submerged or not i don't know but they kept trying to say to me that it was water that had caused that problem well it wasn't because you know i I don't, I've not submerged it in water. I've not had a shower in it or a bath or... And even when I'm washing up, I didn't get any water on it. I mean, you know, as I said before, the only th thing regarding water is it... I um, just cleaned it with a damp cloth and that's it. That's the only water that got on it. And, you know, and there was... I just kept sending messages backwards and forwards and they kept saying... If there's no water, what did they say? They said something like, if there's no water on the screen or near the what in the watch, then there shouldn't be. They asked me, it, it went on for ages. I mean, there must have been about, I don't know, 10 or 11 emails, maybe more. They kept asking me if it had been near water, and I said no. And then I said, so if there's no water has entered the watch, then there shouldn't be... A, this blob on the screen so they kept trying to blame me saying it was my fault and i said no it isn't and then you know they started coming coming it with the um for this problem we'll give you five percent for this problem we'll give you ten percent we'll give it for this problem we'll give you fifteen percent and if anybody's bought this watch then you'll know what i'm talking about the only time they cave in is when you open a dispute because you're not happy and then they'll say, then somebody called Scar will talk to you and say, um, offer you 50%. And also, if you get a problem, they don't want to know. They want you to send the watch back, which will cost you £18 to send it back, and then £23 in custom clearance fees, which is £48. So, in order for, when you get your refund, you'll get 68 you'll you'll be out of pocket of 41 pounds you'll get 68 pounds back so you're not getting the full refund and it's their responsibility to pay for the return to postage so my overall review of this watch is it's not worth the money it's not worth 109 pounds anyway but this that just this is my opinion whether anybody else thinks different i mean there are some people on trustpilot who've said you know, it's all right, it's a good watch, blah de blah de blah But for me, it's just not worth the money and it's not worth the hassle. So, um, and I'll tell you my story. What's happened to me now is I contacted the bank several times in some kind of hope um, that, you know, I might be able to get my money back in some... I tried to... I, I can't... <coughs> what happened was... I got so sick and tired of all the what they do is they just fob you off that that's all there is to it the, the, the sending back and forwards you know they're, they're just not interested in getting your money they don't, they don't want to give you money back that, that's the bottom line all you'll do is just send emails backwards and forwards backwards and forwards i mean i've got loads now you know with the correspondent they're just this the customer service is crap and that's it in a nutshell and all this came about because um, because I got this you know this this problem with a blob on the on the screen on the right hand side and I couldn't get anywhere with them they gave me the address of where to send it back in China but I said oh, you know I don't want to and then they offered me and because I cancelled the and the I opened a dispute because I got sick and tired of, of trying to deal with them and getting nowhere. They just weren't listening. You know, they don't want to listen. They don't want to know. As far as I can see, all they want is your money and that's it. They're not interested in helping you or... I mean, if they do, it's very vague. Anyway, I opened a dispute with the bank and left it. And then they started emailing me. Once somebody else called Scar started emailing me and offered me 50% of this, that and the other... And then, um, you know, and this is all to do with the problem with the blob on the screen. And then they were, then they offered to uh, send me another watch, which they never did. I mean, if they were that bothered, they would have done it by now. They kept saying, 
we can send you a new watch. Do you think it's okay? And I said, no, it's not okay. I want a refund. So um, because I bought it with my debit card, I asked the bank to open a, dis uh, opened a dispute through the bank. And then, uh, you know, I've been suffering from depression for quite some time now, and I didn't really want to sort of keep getting up, having to deal with the stress of this all the time, every single day. So I thought, oh, they're being a bit, I just wanted an end to it. So that the, um, I cancelled the dispute, which is a mistake, really. But later on down the line, I contacted the bank again and, talk, you know, I sent an email to their CEO, CEO and told them, well, you get to speak to their executive complaints department. It wasn't really a complaint. I just wanted to know if there's any other way that, they, you know, they, they could... Um, give me a bang and I have to, you know, put my hats off to Barclays because they, um, they said, you know, they didn't want to sort of have me to, um, you know, keep dealing with this and have all the stress of worrying about it and everything. You know, I sent them a, quite a, well, just an email telling them about, you know, what had happened and everything and how I thought, I felt I'd been scammed by buying this watch. And uh, as a goodwill gesture, they refunded me, bless their heart. So, you know, but I'm, I'm just glad to see the back of it. You know, look so smart as far as I'm concerned, are just not customer focused company. They just concern about money, and that's all there is to it. And uh, you know, I, I would just say this watch to me is probably worth I don't know, a, a rating of about one out of ten, or, or I don't know, one out of five stars if you want to do it that way. But for me. I would not buy another one of these watches, never, because the customer service is absolutely terrible. So, make your own mind up, but I'm doing this review because I want people to become aware of what's going off and how you get treated by Sluxo Smart's customer service. And, you know, if if you want any clarifications for that, just go and look on... Um, trust pilot and you'll see lots of unhappy customers there are one or two really good views don't get me wrong but the majority of them are bad so make your own mind up